Welcome to the Perspectives with Catherine Toon podcast. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Perspectives with Catherine Toon. And I have a very special guest that I am just uh, learning about, and uh, but I've been looking at his stuff, and it's been so life-giving. Welcome, Chris Blackaby. It's so good to have you. Hey, Catherine. Good to finally connect. Yay. So wonderful. So as I said, I have been looking at your stuff. I was like, it's so, uh, my heart just leaps as I'm hearing you minister and, and what you have. And, uh, so thank you for coming on board. I thought I'd read your bio. So if there's someone out there, uh, who's not familiar with what you're about, uh, can kind of get a little, little bit of a heads up and then we'll just sort of, uh, dive, dive in. So, um, it says, as he is ministries, which is your ministry where Chris Blackaby serves as an education, education director is focused on sharing the message of grace and the finished work of Jesus Christ. The ministry is dedicated to helping people understand and live out the reality of being a new creation in Christ free from the burdens of religious legalism. Their aim is to spread a message that is pure and undiluted by religious tradition, emphasizing the unconditional love and grace of God towards humanity. Through his teachings, seminars, and resources, As He Is Ministry seeks to reveal the true nature of God as shown in Jesus and to encourage believers to experience a relationship with God that is based on love and acceptance rather than fear an obligation and the church said, amen. That's fabulous. I love what you're about, Chris. Uh, so uh, thank you for that. So today we figured we were going to talk about maturing in love. And I've been hearing you minister on this. I'm like, oh goodness, do you have stuff to say? So what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Maturing in love? What does that mean to you? Well, I was going to ask you. <laughs> ah, you're going to ask me. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw it right back, Chris. Just, just throw yeah. it right back. Well, love is, is who we're in the image and likeness of. God is love. Love is a person. And we're being conformed into the image of Christ. So as we're, as we're walking with the Lord, we're being transformed or transfigured into his image from the inside out, from glory to glory to glory. So maturity for me in my grabbing grabbing a hold of it now looks like becoming the one in whom in whose image that we were created which mm. is the image of love and yes. it's as big as god is so and we get to be that in our flavor right the flavor yes. of chris blackaby yeah. love through chris black blackaby one with chris blackaby in partnership with chris blackaby is what is needed uh in expression in the earth realm right through which creation is released from its bondage so love that so anyway that's what it means to me yeah that's good yeah i, I, I like that very much <laughs> yeah so if you understand if god is love and we are becoming more and more like him mm -hmm. to that uh, jesus was the exact representation of the father mm -hmm. with grew up to be like jesus so we grew up to be the exact representation of the father mm -hmm. which is love mm -hmm. yeah and so love is maturity and that brings forward all sorts of situations and understandings. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so what is love is probably the, uh, the, the main question here and the Bible has lots to say about love, but, um, understanding that love is maturity, mm -hmm. not, um, gifting, Thank you. uh, not, uh, not even ministry effect, mm -hmm. uh, authority mm -hmm. or excellence mm -hmm. or even um uh righteous living mm -hmm. of itself mm -hmm. these things aren't love of themselves mm -hmm. uh love is love, love, is love. <laughs> and so we can talk a, a lot about that if you want to I, uh, well, let, let's talk a lot about that shall we and yes, um i vote yeah. for all of that 
And I love the fact that you parceled it out because we have been confused, right? We've been pursuing gifts. We've been pursuing character development as if that's separate from the person of love. We've been pursuing all sort of authority and anointing and all of these different things. And they're the fruit of love, but they're not love. So yeah, help us with that if you would. So yeah, that's, that's good. And they're all really good things. Mm -hmm. Like, um, sometimes I present the gospel. I tell people like, um, like, uh, come to Jesus, um, listen to Jesus, <laughs> become like Jesus, serve Jesus, uh, live for Jesus, you know, die for Jesus, um, uh, celebrate Jesus is not the gospel. No. The gospel is good news and that's instruction and it's good instruction. That, that is good instruction, but it's not the good news. Mm-hmm. Good news is Jesus came to you. Thank Jesus you. lived for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus served you. Jesus became like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this, that's the good news. It's done. Oh, okay, yeah. and that's the rest that we're in. And Ooh. when you enter Christ's rest, you'll cease from your strivings and your works. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and then uh, from there, there's lots of good instruction, and the Bible is full of good instruction. Mm-hmm. The good instruction comes as a result of your new creation. Mm-hmm. So uh, sometimes through religion and maybe even church culture, mm-hmm. um, we see that if we um, have character change mm-hmm. and we become more righteous in our living mm-hmm. and, and there's good fruit, and these are all very good things, mm-hmm. then we will be like God or we'll be like our Father in heaven and we will have his favour and uh, uh, access to him. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Paul always puts the other way around you know, all these letters. Yeah. It's like seeing that you're raised and seated in heavenly places, Absolutely. seeing that you have his favor, seeing that everything is yes and amen, seeing that Christ is now your new nature, the very person of Christ is your new nature. And you're raised and seated with him mm-hmm. in him, mm-hmm. uh, seeing these things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you have a new nature. Absolutely. This is how you should live as a, as a response, a good response and an apt yes. response. That's no, that's true. But we say, if you live in this behavior, you'll right. be raised and seated in God's pleasure. Exactly. That's the completely other way around. This is, and this Paul the cart says, before the horse, right? Yes, yeah, the cart before the horse. Trying to get to something that we already yeah. are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Paul says, uh, if you have it the other way around, it's no gospel at all because mm-hmm. Christ died for nothing. Because if righteousness could be achieved by good behavior, mm-hmm. then Christ died for nothing. So mm-hmm. the sneaky religion trick that's tricked a mm-hmm. uh, lot to the church is we come in grace. Mm-hmm. As Paul says, why did you receive the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. and have miracles mm-hmm. or, uh, and, and, and have miracles? Mm-hmm. Could you believe? Mm-hmm. Or could you behave? It's because you believed. Okay. So why are you trying to maintain the miracles mm-hmm. and signs and wonders and Holy Spirit through behavior? You know, you received it through belief, you maintain it through belief. If right. it could be maintained through behavior, then Christ died for nothing. For nothing. So if anyone preaches anything different, may they be... Uh, anathema i think it's the actual greek word so it's not good yeah. even an angel from heaven <laughs> yes but unfortunately that describes the western church okay. you see the freaky mm-hmm. okay and then maintain it this standing this new standing have with jesus maintain it through this behavior set mm-hmm. and every church has a different behavior set mm-hmm. sometimes contradictory behavior set mm-hmm. exactly to maintain the free gift mm-hmm. and so pretty much you could say the whole Western church is under the Galatian deception, which right. Paul is the most furious against. There's no, hot, there's nothing hot, else he's ang- angry at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah. So, <laughs> and that's, that describes the main of this church who claim to base themselves on Paul's teachings. Right. <laughs> really? Right. These churches are very, they love Paul, mm-hmm. <laughs> these mm-hmm. churches, but their message is one that Paul would rage against. Yes. furious against if you read yes. things in galatian because the way it, you talk it places it. people in bondage right in religious bondage yeah well there's no it. gospel so there's right. no life so how can god reward that because if he rewards that he's rewarding a system so we're doing things to position ourselves for blessing mm-hmm. which is a very you have to be very careful with that word i understand it can be used rightly but be very careful mm-hmm. or to be in faith or to be a peculiar people or to be christians or to be a witness mm-hmm. to the world all these things mm-hmm. uh, to so that God can bless us or send revival or mm-hmm. answer our prayer. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, 
that is the very that is the Galatian deception. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a sneaky these deception. It's really yeah. sneaky because we think we have it right and then very it's it's very sneaky. sneaky. And we do want more of God. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we do want revival mm-hmm. and we do want our prayers answered and we do want to look like God. Mm-hmm. But the Christianity is only one thing. It's a response to the person of Christ living inside you. Thank you. On Christian life. Appreciate it. It was the release of the person of Christ inside you. Mm-hmm. So the Christianity is the rest of becoming what you already are. So when you become a Christian, you don't change. It's not a change of belief systems. I was an atheist. Now I'm a Christian. I was a Buddhist. Now I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. I was a churchgoer. And now I'm a born again Christian. Mm-hmm. It's not a change of belief systems. It's literally a change of species. You were a, yeah. a human being under Adam. Mm-hmm. You died with him. Mm-hmm. You rose as him. And now you are one with Christ. Mm-hmm. And you didn't get saved as such. You got Jesus. Mm-hmm. And Jesus is your salvation. Yes. And so the nature of Christ is in you. Now, he is, you're not, you didn't get, Adam didn't get his righteousness back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Adam's gone. Yeah. A new creation now exists. It doesn't have Adam's righteousness. That's mm-hmm. gone. We have Christ. And Christ is our righteousness. Yeah. And Christ is our holiness. And Christ mm-hmm. is our salvation. Mm-hmm. So no man can boast. You can't boast in, in your salvation and you can't boast in your Christian walk because <laughs> it's a gift right exactly. from the beginning. Yes. And the gift is the person of Jesus Christ living inside you. And that is now your core nature. Yes. So the Sermon on the Mount is not a list of things to attain to. Mm-hmm. The Sermon on the Mount now describes you. This is yes. your nature. Forgiveness is your core nature. Exactly. To bless your enemies is your core nature because mm-hmm. the seed of of the Son of God, the very pattern and person mm-hmm. is in you, and that's who you are. So it's no longer you live. It is Christ who lives inside you, mm-hmm. and you access, and that's what we're releasing by the changing of our mind. We be transformed in the of your mind. Mm-hmm. You're learning what you already are because you cease from your strivings and your works. Exactly. Yeah, it says in Hebrews 4. So he was the end of Christ, rest and cease from his strivings and his works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, uh, so, so he says strive to enter that rest, Right. being clever with language. Right. Uh, or you'll end in disobedience. What's the disobedience? You'll do something. You'll do something to be righteous. That's disobedience to the Christianity, to Christianity. Because mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit's not doing that. Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit's not doing anything to be righteous. Holy Spirit is holy, exactly. is righteous, is the nature of God, is God. Yes. Uh, and they've got into trouble there. <laughs> and uh, is God, so thus has God's nature. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a pretty easy one to understand. Yes. And that is your true nature. Yes. And we are, as you were saying before, I love what you said, uh, God's image. Mm-hmm. So we are the image of God. And you can understand image as a verb. We're images. We mm-hmm. we image God. We're created to be God on earth. What would God do if he was on earth? Well, we know because he was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we know exactly what he did. Right. Yep. And and how he did it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's our model. Uh, the expression can be very different. You could be a, a dancer. Jesus wasn't a professional dancer, but you could mm-hmm. you can be one. <laughs> you know, right. uh, I know of. there was some, <laughs> maybe in the thirty missing years. Know. Of, there was a thing maybe he was. was. We don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus, you know, Jesus wasn't a graphic designer using right. computer added design. You know, whatever he wasn't an astronaut. Yes. Maybe. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but you can express it. But it's 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 not what you are. Uh-huh. It's not what you become. It's the who. It's it's the being. That you are. That's what, that's what you present to God. You present this back to God. You don't present your ministry back to God. Right. There'll be fruit from your ministry and how you handle what you were given, you'll be rewarded for. Mm-hmm. Christians are judged unto reward. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. saving so use King James there to make it even sound more official. But um, uh, the Christians are judged for, for, for reward. Like, what did you do with the gift you were given? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, but... Um, it's the person, it's the being that you are that you present to God, which yes. determines what you do in the next era. Shall I say that? Mm-hmm. It's the who you are, mm-hmm. because you could be a pastor that runs a church of ten thousand people and do it really well. Yeah, I mean, really well. Mm-hmm. And under that gift, because the gift is mm-hmm. an anointing that allows you to do that. You know. Uh, I don't have that anointing, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm, not I'm very impressed. Well done, dude. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but I'm like, but it's just a jacket. You know, we say that it's just mm-hmm. an anointing right. to get to heaven and your 10,000 seat jacket goes, Oh, thank you. I'll take my jacket back. So that belongs on earth. You know, and your jacket comes off and it's just you. And it's just you. 
you ten thousand see the church has gone with the jacket it was just a gift yeah. you know something that's a gift to raise children you know it's just yeah. a it's a gift but um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and jesus god says do you did you look like me did you become love mm-hmm. and uh, and so that's what i guess we'll, we'll talk about and and define a bit more and flesh out mm-hmm. you know uh and we'll never get there because right. you have to meet the raw person of <laughs> god right. and to, mm-hmm. to fully understand what love is mm-hmm. and uh you know all these people will have these experiences of christ or near-death experiences they speak of a love that is not on this earth you know so yeah. so knowing those limitations uh um we can certainly um uh see how scripture presents love on, on earth yeah for us to participate in and uh so yeah let's let's talk about that <laughs> i love that and it's such a it's such a gorgeous unveiling of who you already are who you who were, who you were created to be and out yeah. of that place as a byproduct we do a bunch of stuff that that we hope looks like love is a byproduct of who we are we do out of our who yeah which is in the image of love i love that yeah and it's so, so free we, because image God, like a verb like we image him but we are we're created to be uh god Image here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. imaging imaging him i love that yeah it's beautiful it's beautiful well keep on going i'm lapping it up i know yeah. those that are watching you're lapping it up so okay well um love you know um, there's lots of descriptions of love mm-hmm. and um like corinthians has first mm-hmm. corinthians has some great descriptions of love mm-hmm. and um like we read it for weddings, but we don't really take it seriously because it says, if you don't have love, you have nothing, you're clanging gong, even if you throw a mountain into the sea. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be a true verse. Like, see where that sounds? Right. Like Jesus would say, truly, truly, I say to you, like, oh, this is really true. Like, yeah. uh, you know, uh, it's true, true, you know, it's double it's true. Funny when the person who is truth says, very yeah. well, believe yeah. me, like, yeah, yeah. like on that, that day, that it will be attention. like this. Yes. You're like, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> not really. And uh, we, we, yeah, we have a, funny. we just, I'll just paraphrase it this way. We have a, a couple of problems at the moment. And because we have these problems, we're creating many theologies out of these problems. And ones we don't understand what love is. Um, and that's what we'll talk about today. We don't also understand what righteousness is or that glory that's righteousness. And uh, because of that, um, uh, we've misrepresented both. And then we have theologies that, that are countering for both these lacks and uh we say things like a loving god would never do that you know or that's not love Mm -hmm. well (laughs) maybe you don't know what love is you know and we we definitely have lost um holiness and righteousness as an understanding Mm -hmm. and we've lost holiness and righteousness so david uh if you look at his progress Mm -hmm. we we are early david david means beloved uh we are early david where david um knew how to worship and okay. be with be with god and enjoy his presence and he knew how to go out and and do things for god mm-hmm. like great things great faith ventures mm-hmm. and uh for him and honor his name and that's where the church is pretty much at mm-hmm. and one day he's taking the ark the covenant and god who he loves and is his friend and he sings to Uzziah reaches out and touches it and he died and he's like yeah. who was this god mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay that moment <laughs> the church wants revival which just wants to be a a, a a habitation of the lord but well <laughs> guess what <laughs> because uh when there's no manifestation what we would call judgment what is right we could call that justice mm-hmm. is delayed you know but when there's great presence or manifestation which is glory and righteousness as well as love uh right uh it's much quicker <laughs> so when there's a glory in the temple you couldn't get away with anything yeah right. <laughs> there's no glory in the temple you could take statues in kill pigs uh have temple prostitutes in the same place mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The judgment late, maybe even for a couple of generations mm-hmm. But when the presence was there, like things happened that day, <laughs> like yeah. you couldn't get away with anything. Mm-hmm. And the same, that's why Ananias and Sapphira is so, so weird to us and is weird to us. Mm-hmm. 
you can't even reconcile that at church. Like, mm -hmm. you made a church service. If you really thought about it, you think, mm, you can't really see that yeah. happening. Mm -hmm. But when God's presence is there, you can't lie before the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, I mean, you don't have to look at the church news to see that there's not just lying, but multi years of lying and control and blackmail and false prophecy and all these things. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, because right. the glory is departed. I mean, it hasn't because you're Christians, the glory is inside us. But as of that corporate glory, this presence of God we're, we're, we're looking for, mm -hmm. we, we have lost that glory. Mm -hmm. So, we're like David before the ark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great victories, and that is true. Mm -hmm. And great worship, and that is true. I'm not diminishing those at all. Mm -hmm. I say more, more of those things. You know, uh, some of the ground Christianity's taken in the in in culture is amazing. Like we have orphanages, and we have hospitals, and we have welfare, and we have animal welfare. These are all Christian initiatives that may have gone awry since then. Yeah. Uh, universities. These are all Christian initiatives, and as benefit society greatly and uh, there's many great faith ventures and and uh incredible things which, which have happened mm -hmm. uh and uh and many uh, worship great <laughs> great worship moments and great revival moments mm -hmm. throughout history mm -hmm. but uh holy smokes in the most literal sense yes uh we're king david up until uzziah <laughs> yes. up until that moment and if that happens again we will not be ready and we will be shocked i'll be shocked mm -hmm. i've got no idea what that holiness is i've never seen it i don't have a good reference point for it except for stories read in the bible right. <laughs> which I say, well that's true <laughs> and there's a truth behind it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that as a frame <laughs> uh our understanding of love is uh a, not full because we don't understand righteousness uh, and the holiness of god mm -hmm. And then we understand this great and holy and righteous God uh, died on the cross. Like mm -hmm. we have a, that's a much bigger thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to a um, black tie event that was raising money to get people out of trafficking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. And uh, uh, it was great. Mm -hmm. And uh, these people did, uh, it was an amazing event. They raised lots of money. And uh, after the meal, but I was eating dessert and everyone just stopped eating their dessert. You just couldn't eat while this lady was speaking. Yeah. This girl got up, she's about 30. Mm -hmm. I think she was 30. And her parents sold her into trafficking to, to support their whatever they wanted. Oh, and the story is should say things. Mm -hmm. But if you thought about what that moment actually was and how that child had lived at that moment or moments and then repeated it, it's just it was overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And her life was very bad. Uh, I think she's like 30 with a 15 year old daughter or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so you can do the maths on that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, uh, her life has completely turned around and, um, and Jesus saved her, mm -hmm. but Jesus rescued her. Mm -hmm. Like I'm listening to someone like, I don't believe Jesus res rescued me the way you believe Jesus rescued you. <laughs> like, I have given my whole life to God. <laughs> like mm -hmm. there's no other game in town. Like he is worthy. He is good. Uh, this thing goes for <laughs> billions and billions of years. <laughs> like this is, this is everything. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a emotional, it's rational, it's mm -hmm. spiritual. It's, it's every, on every level, God gets everything. Mm -hmm. But this girl mm -hmm. knows Jesus in a way I have, do not know Jesus. Yeah. Jesus rescued her yes. yeah so when she sees jesus on the cross that's the jesus that rescued her like that's her jesus she when she talks about my jesus mm -hmm. you know oh, it really is her jesus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm with a table of pastors and we're like <laughs> what is this wow. and, then, and then and then she ended the verse you know um like some people are that verse or that some people read so much meditate in scripture so much that when they say something it just holds so much more gravitas than, mm -hmm. than you've ever heard mm -hmm. you know and um uh, bill johnson's like that yeah you can get up yeah. and read a verse and you go 
Hang on, I read that verse. <laughs> like, <laughs> how come when you say it, <laughs> it means more to me than when I read it myself? Like, you know, I remember one time you just got up there and said, you said, he goes, rise and shine because your light has come. Mm-hmm. It was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, because he, he, he's meditated very so much. So at the end, she goes, uh, mm-hmm. she says, you know, the light has shone in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. And that's her. I was like, oh, wow. she is that verse. Like she has an aspect of the nature mm-hmm. of God and she's bringing it to earth, you know. So um, I'm using that as an example to say there are no matter what you've done and how you lived and yeah. you, there's, there's aspects of the nature of God which are yet to be revealed. And, but they will need to come with a sense of his glory. Mm-hmm. But because we have a Galatian deception, we think, behave well so the glory can come. You know? yeah. well, we see it as a righteousness or morality issue. Mm-hmm. But in response, is, this is actually your nature when that glory comes. Mm-hmm. Um, that is, well, his holiness comes, that's your holiness. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Because Christ is your holiness. Mm-hmm. Said. So it's this holiness that comes, that is your real nature. Yes. So that's a big frame way to say, look, we are, we're learning, but we're also babes in the wood, and, uh, but God has a plan. And so love, um, if love is maturity, yeah, more mm-hmm. the, uh, is the full mature son has become love. Mm-hmm. So the gifts are there because we don't have love, and that's mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are love. If I'm love, I don't need to prophesy over you, Catherine. I love you and I hold you in my heart. And I will know things about you mm-hmm. because the process of becoming love, there's no judgment. And I would say, you know, you know, there but for the grace of God go I. If there's anything like that you wouldn't want to be known, but because I'm love, mm-hmm. it means like I only lay my life down for you and intercede for you, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, everything you are, because th- that wants to happen to me. Mm-hmm. So if you achieve something in your own strength, you yeah. judge people who haven't done it in their own strength. If you've yeah. lost weight and you went through the disciplines and someone else hasn't lost weight, well, mm-hmm. you know what to do. You get up early, you do this, you change your diet, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever you did achieve in your own strength, mm-hmm. when people aren't using their strength to do the same thing as you, it actually annoys you and it makes you angry. So yeah. you're being righteous behaving, you have your own strength, and someone's living a le- less righteous life than you. Mm-hmm. That makes you angry because they could do what they wanted to. Mm-hmm. And they're happier than you. That makes you double angry, right? It's like a, right. it's a trap. Right. It's but a trap. if I was addicted to a substance or, or a behavior mm-hmm. and uh, Jesus set me free, then I see you've got it. I'm like, oh, like I got free from as a free gift. Yeah. Like, I, I want you to have the same free gift. Yeah. Well, I got free from absolute discipline and like just to say, I don't know this drug smoking drugs okay like and then and you just can't get out of it and you just mm-hmm. keep going back i go well you didn't make the decisions you didn't do the thing you know i give what i've got and i discipline and the mechanism and maybe a support group it's all good mm-hmm. but i judge you by my methodology you know but uh if i got free by christ then that's what i want so becoming love you there's you cannot work your way to love you cannot we'll get into that in a minute you cannot discipline your way to love you can respond mm-hmm. but you can't and as you become love your ability to hold judgment against people just disappears which is why i can know things about you if i'm love mm-hmm. i won't need to have a healing gift because i'll better heal because i'm love mm-hmm. i won't need a prophecy gift or with a knowledge gift because i'll know because i'll be love mm-hmm. it does love light and spirit and I'll be, the more I'm love, the more I'm like spirit. Yes. And the spirit knows all things and discerns all things and mm-hmm. won't need a gift. Okay. But yeah. because we're not love, we've got gifts. Mm-hmm. And the gifts are there and perfection comes. And then mm-hmm. tongues ceases and prophecy ceases. Mm-hmm. Love. Okay. And we love the gifts, and we, but we think they're the highest thing to attain to. The gifts are the starter pack. I love it. <laughs> Until starter we become pack. love. I love it. Yes. Yeah, those specialists last for a little while. Yes. Yeah, because you might heal twenty thousand people through through gifts. If you don't love them, then mm-hmm. then uh, you were a clanging gong. It was just a gift. Yeah. It was just a hammer, all right? And that's not you. And the hammer stays on earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a friend who had an amazing prophetic gift, and he would go to heaven uh, lots, and then uh, and then he'd prophesy over people, and a hundred people line up, and he'd give them all 
you just read their mail to them right. and you can just see is it his gift boom, 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 boom. yeah 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 like i can see you've got you know a white chair like, how do you know i've got a white chair i go i can just see it you're like oh, wow yeah like, he could just see that was his gift yeah. and he could just read things this is what you're hoping for this is what you're praying for mm -hmm. one day it was before christ in heaven and uh, jesus said uh, i want to take that gift back would you exchange it to become mm -hmm. like me become love wow. wow and he was like yes mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. so his ministry gift or his hammer or his jacket or his glasses even caught they came off the gift the, the anointing and jesus says now you can't prophesy over anyone wow. <laughs> he says don't worry you'll be able to prophesy over people when you love them Yay. Oh, it's like oh wow because like now he knows what prophecy is yes. he's experienced it yeah. and now when you love someone in your heart you better prophesy over them mm. and so session over with god uh back in, in earth and he couldn't prophesy over anyone, which yes. means mm -hmm. he doesn't love anyone at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Be the great ministry. Right. How, how right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's best to find out this side than that yeah, side. Absolutely. Just... You need to learn, learn from scratch how to become love and become a loving person. Wow. And how to love someone, hold them in their heart so you can actually prophesy over them and see them. Yeah. But So the gift was just to introduce the concept to you. You've never been a son of God before. You've never healed someone before or raised someone from the dead, like mm -hmm. gift of faith. Mm -hmm. You have these gifts that allow you to do these things. They're mm -hmm. tools in your hand. Mm -hmm. That's not you. This thing needs to become. You are not your tool. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next, the next era is the kingdom and the kingdom looks like the father. So you're going to govern in it. The more you look like the father, the more you'll govern because some get no cities, some get five cities, some get 10 cities. Mm -hmm. Truly, truly. <laughs> so don't think anything else. Uh, it doesn't matter if you like that or don't like that. That's what it is. And we're being told. Uh, and uh, so you want to look like the Father, mm -hmm. okay? So what does the Father look like? Well, we know what mm -hmm. Father looks like because we had Christ. Right. But Jesus yeah. defines it. He actually mm -hmm. defines it for us in the Sermon on the Mount. He says, uh, bless your enemies, or bless those who curse you and pray for enemies. Then you will be like your Father in heaven, or then you'll be a true son of the Father. Wow. This is all you want. Mm -hmm. Who sends rain on the good and the evil, mm -hmm. the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. Now, let's think about, <laughs> I'm not in the church bashing, like I am the church, okay? Yes. But let's just think, uh, we're just discussing, we're talking about maturity. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> when you hear about sending rain on the good and the evil and blessing those who curse you, mm -hmm. Does the Western Church spring to mind, <laughs> or does it not spring to mind? Unfortunately, we're we're no. we're growing, but yeah, we're, it yeah. does not <laughs> pop right in there exactly. Yeah, for sure. So we, we don't as as a group. Yeah, right. I mean, that's not our reputation, mm -mm. Uh, mm -hmm. and there's reason for that. It's not our reputation. It hasn't been our behavior throughout history, and even now. Yes. So um, we have groups who are against. We're in a cultural war. We are in a political war. Mm -hmm. uh, we've assigned ourselves certain earthly values mm -hmm. and fighting for them, but we're not known as someone who will lay our life down mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And it, it could be evil. Like, yeah, that's evil. No problem. Because, uh, but God lays life down for, yes. for the evil. God mm -hmm. uh, send rain on the good and evil. And uh, when we believe we have separation from God, mm -hmm. wrongly. Because mm -hmm. uh, we're Christians, we're yeah. <laughs> sons of God. Isn't that uh, sad? Mm -hmm. There's lack of resource. Once you're separated from God, you need to do something to get that back, which is good behavior. Mm -hmm. Because we did it by our own strength, we then mm -hmm. enforce it on other people. Mm -hmm. And when you think there's uh, you lack connection to God, there's limited resource. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if I have five dollars, do I have five dollars? No, okay. If I've got <laughs> five dollars in my hand, yes. And I see Catherine too, who is doing a great work for God and uh, really setting people free and caring for their hearts and turning to maturity and love i've, I've got five dollars mm -hmm. and, and i see some guy who for the third time this week without gambling lost all his money he's drunk on on the street mm -hmm. uh, because he keeps gambling and getting drunk uh you know by knowledge of good and evil should i say mm -hmm. by church yes. culture which is yes. a knowledge of good and evil um of itself uh I would make wise investments five dollars for the kingdom. I give it to Catherine too. That's who I give it to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God says rain on the good and the evil. Mm -hmm. 
I think I've only got five dollars, but no, I've got all the resources of heaven. This, if I'm a son of God, this five dollars belongs to God anyway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I do with what He's doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, spirit led. There's no right or wrong in that. Mm -hmm. Sons mm -hmm. of God led by the Spirit, yes. and God may God may say to me, "Give it to the guy in the gutter." Exactly. Now, if I've got a mindset, I can't even hear the voice of God. I've got an argument of pretensions. Mm -hmm. So it's self knowledge of God, and because I think I'm separate from God, I've only got this five dollars. Mm -hmm. I've got all lim I've got unlimited resources. Even this limited, still God's anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And God says, "Give it to the guy in the gutter." And I say, "Hey, hang on." He's just gonna, you know, do this and this with it, whatever. Yeah, you know, I will make a yeah. decision. Mm -hmm. But God said, "Hey, but you're my son. You would, you do what you see the father doing. Exactly. I, the kingdom, is giving that guy five dollars, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you are my imager on the earth. That's what yeah. God is doing. So image yeah. me and give him five dollars. I go, ah, oh, it does seem like good investment. Oh, hang on, it is a good investment because mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him five dollars. He's gonna see it came from a Christian. He knows I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. He's gonna repent." come to church, you know, see that he's loved because it's no, no, no. He's drunk in the gutter. <laughs> he has no money. Wow. He needs $5. Mm -hmm. like, will he repent and change? Because no, he won't. <laughs> but he's in the gutter. He needs $5. Yes. The kingdom is good to all. Love You're him like, in the gutter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to do what I see the father doing. The father's doing this. But we have a wrong image of God, which is a stronghold. Mm -hmm. We will never give five dollars to God in the gutter, mm -hmm. and we won't bless our enemies or those who persecute us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the example I always use is: imagine if the church for eight years prayed and interceded for Obama. Right. For eight years, mm -hmm. prayed his behalf, honored him, called out his greatness, yeah. uh, asked that God show him mercy, reveal Himself to him, give mm -hmm. surround him with good people, uh, reveal to him in the night, speak to him in the night, keep his mm -hmm. conscience mm -hmm. soft, you know, uh, and plead for his salvation. Um, like inter um, you know, we would have a different country. We would have a different. We didn't. We, we went didn't. after those who persecuted us. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think he did. I don't think he's a good. I don't think his behavior was good. Mm -hmm. But uh, that doesn't change our behavior. We do what heaven's doing. Exactly. We want judgment. We want God to call down. Well, we want we want God to judge who we think is our enemies, but be merciful to us. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> so, that, that, that's right. Yes. Yeah, and uh, and they may be our enemies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, in this time of Christ under the Messiah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus said, "Now I say to you, this is the new rules. This is my way. Am I your Messiah? Yeah. You know, I'm the represent the full representation of God. Uh -huh. And under this time, under this, this time of grace, yeah, we're good to all. Yeah. Then you'll be like your Father in heaven. So you'll be like mm -hmm. your Father in heaven." Mm -hmm. This is this is it. You pray for those who persecute you and bless and bless those who curse you, mm -hmm. and and rain on the good and evil. That's what heaven's doing. It's doing it right now. People who hate God yeah. get married or in love. There's food mm -hmm. on the table, and there's comfort. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit's still here. Mm -hmm. They can receive comfort. They can have food, which is comfort. They can have a nice bed or sleep. There's comfort mm -hmm. in all things. Though. God still, if you write out a page, what God did for them personally every day, it'd be, you know, it'd be a full page. You know, God's yeah, sure. looking after these people who hate him every yes. day. Yes. That is his nature. And that's your nature. Mm -hmm. And you can do it uh, if you have a clear conscience uh, and know there's no separation, which is what the gospel yeah. is, through yeah. believing. Mm -hmm. Did you believe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, you, then you, if God says you're clean, then you're clean. That's it. And if God says you're with him, then you're with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you exactly. Surrender to that. So seeing that uh, Jesus revealed what love is, mm -hmm. uh, we know what love is. Someone may die for a righteous man, mm -hmm. but none's going to die for a wicked man. Okay, mm -hmm. This is love. That while we're yet sinners, Christ died yes. for us. And we know that because Christ was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Yes. And so the foundation of the world mm -hmm. is love. Because love yes. is to lay your life down for the wicked. You know, that is, it's not, you know, love is kind, love is patience, love covers sins. There's like many aspects of love. Mm -hmm. But if you look how, um, how, how it's honored and rewarded in heaven and by the, the behavior of God. <laughs> right. And, uh, Jesus was the lamb slain before, before the foundation mm -hmm. of the world. So mm -hmm. before the first sin. <laughs> yeah. Jesus had laid his life down for the wicked yeah. before it even began. Exactly. And then you look the big answer that came before the relative little problem of the fall because he's a lamb slain. 
Yeah. So it's all wrapped up in him. Yeah. At our at, most wicked point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> so many things to say about that. I'm just trying to stay on, on, on a thought here, <laughs> but, uh, and then you, then you see that, um, many of, of the mature, uh, people th through scripture and, uh, uh, especially those who brought in the new aspect of the father mm -hmm. all had this nature to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, Enoch, we know brought in the reality that you, uh, humans can on making a call on the nature of God, to be with God, <laughs> you know, have the earth together. Mm -hmm. He was the first one to restore that, that we know of from Adam. Yeah. Yeah. And he pleaded on behalf of the, of the fallen watch angels. Mm -hmm. We know that from, from Enoch mm -hmm. and, um, and it's referenced in, in the Enoch's reference a lot through uh, the New Testament mm -hmm. and uh, those realities of the fallen watch angels from Genesis 6 for Enoch to plead on their, their behalf, which is wow. not to call out for judgment. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we know that uh, he was first Abraham plead on behalf of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he didn't say, wipe them out and give me their land. <laughs> right. He pleaded on their behalf. Yeah. And then Moses who was up the mountain. God said, I'm sick of the Israelites. They have uh, gone to idols and other behavior. And I am going to start again with you. Abraham and his children are gone. It's going to be the children of Moses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moses is going to be the great patriarch of a new lineage. Mm -hmm. Moses may have got 12 sons out of it. I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> and then what would have happened? Yeah. And Moses said, no, remove me. I'd rather you remove me from your book of life. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. kept them. And he meant it. Uh, wow. That's a miracle. He would exchange not his being the book of life, the exchange, his greatness in history. He did mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that Abraham and his children would maintain that, that promise. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we have Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, when he, it says in Romans, just, just the right time. <laughs> he came in and broke that reality. That was the lamb saying before, before the foundation of the world into creation by becoming in the body and dying in the body and bleeding in the body and bleeding on the earth and mm -hmm. raising it in the body. And, uh, and he said, forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. Yeah. And he could have done anything. He could have transfigured brother Pilate. That would have answered many questions. <laughs> he could have called down your yeah, leagues of angels. angels. He didn't. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which that's what, that's what meekness is. Meekness is the power to act and to not to. It's to keep the sword sheathed. Yeah. That's what it is. And Jesus did. He was meek. I think he could have smashed them. Yeah. <laughs> when he came back, he could have smashed them, mm -hmm. but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He cooked breakfast on the beach and uh, went and fed them and talked to them and, you know, restored their fortunes and their and their hearts and and their identity. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you have Paul in Romans. He says, "I'd rather be written out of the Book of Life, but all Israel be saved. Yeah. Wow. Would that be possible?" Wow. And uh, that love, that's a miracle. Yeah. If yeah. you could see what being written out of the book of life was, what that entailed, mm -hmm. uh, and you could saw that for five seconds, like, and you that five seconds was an eternal state, mm -hmm. there's no way no. <laughs> that you'd exchange that for Israel mm -hmm. or your neighbor. Okay, that's a miracle. Yes. That nature has to yes. come from somewhere else. And you can't work your way to it, but you already have that nature. Mm -hmm. and you're being transformed with renewing of your mind. So your mind is your body and your soul and, and uh, together and it's being transformed to look like that. And it gets transformed in the hearing of the word, mm -hmm. <laughs> of the word to come. So we need to be preaching it. And uh, have you heard me speak about Stephen before? I heard a little bit this morning, but that's so okay. good. Please share. Okay. So uh, Stephen uh, was maybe a deacon. There was a deacon called Stephen. And uh, he was walking around and performing great signs and wonders and miracles mm -hmm. in Acts 6 and 7. And he was really moving in power, this guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day he's confronted by the, the religious uh, sect of, of, of the Jews. And um, he gives them their whole history. <laughs> yeah. And then he invokes the death penalty by saying, I see God. Right. <laughs> and they kill him. Yep. Right. Martyr. And then uh, Paul is there, or Saul, we call him. He's there as a young man mm -hmm. watching it happen. Mm -hmm. And, and they will give, yeah. yeah, yeah. give him their coats. Yeah. They will give him their, he didn't order it. Mm -hmm. He's very inspired by it. It's like, yeah, 
and so I want to do it with my life. <laughs> it's like he's got so his whole future there. And they gave him all gave him their jackets. Yep. And it says to Stephen before he died, his face shone like an angel. And it shone like an, that means he's transfiguring because the angel was a messenger from heaven. He shone like he's from heaven. Wow. He's the transfigure. Mm-hmm. And he says to God, as they're killing him, forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. Mm-hmm. On his blood, he's pleading on behalf of the guilty. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And that's what Christ did. We know that Christ's blood speaks a better word than Abel's. Mm-hmm. We know what Abel's blood says because it's written in. So that is a direct quote of uh, the book of Enoch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, and in Enoch, we have Abel crying out aloud uh, for justice, mm-hmm. which is wipe out Cain and his descendants. Mm-hmm. I need mm-hmm. justice. Yeah. And Jesus' blood speaks a better word. Yeah. For that murder and that wiping out of Abel and probably all of that humanity that would have come from him, gone. Yeah. And Jesus' uh, blood is an overpayment for both. He pays for Abel wow. and it pays for Cain. Yeah. Wow. We need to, need to know that. It pays, pays for the victim mm-hmm. and pays for the persecutor as well. Yeah. So this is uh, Stephen. And what makes Stephen so amazing? So that's all what's in scripture, mm-hmm. Enoch. <laughs> And uh, um, what uh, this is, this is my understanding of it, um, is that Stephen was to be the great apostle mm-hmm. to the Gentiles. He's performing great signs, wonders, and miracles. Mm-hmm. And he was going to write letters. These letters will be considered scripture mm-hmm. forever, the revelation of Christ. Mm-hmm. He would have been uh, an apostle of Christ to the mm-hmm. Gentiles and would have served and revealed God not just two generations, but multi-generations. Right. And we'll have the letters of Stephen. We'll be so grateful for Stephen and his revelation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that morning, God said to him, hey, Stephen, <laughs> this is your future. I promised you. And this is our agreement. And this is your record on the earth. And this is your scroll. And this is your destiny. And this is your reputation for eternity. <laughs> right. Uh, but there's a guy called Saul. And he is going to slaughter thousands of Christians mm-hmm. and it's, it's in his heart this murder mm-hmm. murderous threats murderous he's breathing murder mm-hmm. and he's gonna, he is going to kill so many people mm-hmm. would you lay down your life wow. and give this man who hasn't yet begun to kill people mm-hmm. your destiny your record mm-hmm. your uh, anointing your uh, apostleship mm-hmm. and that he will be apostle to the Gentiles wow. and write letters and go around and <laughs> do all these things. Yeah. Would you do that? Stephen said for yes. This, for this murderous man, right? Yeah, who hasn't yet begun to murder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like Jesus was slain before the foundation of the world. Mm-hmm. Stephen was slain before uh, Paul even began mm-hmm. to murder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he said yes. And that's why he transfigured because his body and his soul Look like his spirit, which is love, which is to lay your life down mm. on behalf of the wicked or anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and to serve, you know, um, don't grasp equality with God, but make yourself unto a servant. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. Both those things. Mm-hmm. Don't, you have equality with God. Don't grasp for that. Jesus is in you, mm-hmm. but don't, but make yourself unto a servant. And that's what Stephen did. So that's love. That's and Stephen's love. name. You know, it's pretty much wiped, you know, as far as compared to Paul. Little, little paragraph, but not books, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's why Paul had such an incredible conversion. Mm. Wow. Because the seed fell to the ground for it. Yeah. And the blood of the martyrs is God honors the blood of the martyrs. Wow. And Stephen's blood cried out a better word because he said, mm. forgive them, Lord. They know what they do. And that's what they're doing now. But what's going to come for it? Uh, Paul was included in that prayer. Mm-hmm. He would have seen Paul. He would have locked eyes with Paul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they all gave him their jackets. Right. What are all those jackets? Oh, to that guy. <laughs> yeah. wow. He lays life down for this guy. It's going to cause such pain, genuine pain. You look at what Paul did. In some of the movies about Paul, you get a little glimpse mm-hmm. of actually the evil that he did. Mm-hmm. And it was very uh, worse, way worse than what a, a Christian movie <laughs> will show you. Right. Maybe, maybe, maybe Mel Gibson will have a right. much more violent <laughs> Yeah, on it. yeah. <laughs> and much more accurate and violent, Paul. Uh, but um, yeah, 
and that's what it is. Uh, a church will lay its life down on behalf of the wicked. So we have reduced his righteous God's righteousness and his our, you know, separation and state of humanity. Mm-hmm. We brought God in so he's not so righteous mm-hmm. and brought us up as well, not so bad. You know, it's just a mental state. You're separated from God and mm-hmm. God's not so hot. And then, you know, Jesus made that gap. Yes, exactly. But the gap is massive. And God mm-hmm. came down himself, mm-hmm. put us in him and brought him up. And it's a massive salvation. And once you understand what, what your true salvation is, what your true state was, and what Christ has done for you, mm-hmm. then you'll be willing to, to lay your life down. Um, these modern gospels aren't going to produce produce that because they're no gospel at all. And uh, good luck for the Holy the fact that you say modern because they are modern. They're modern versions, evangelical versions of Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're ancient. Mm-hmm. You know, must we call them <laughs> blasphemies or whatever heresies? Mm-hmm. Right. Repackage yeah. for today, yes. and they fit very nicely in a Western lifestyle. Mm-hmm. But if you yeah. took that gospel and you put it in the the underground church of China, it just doesn't work. Right. <laughs> or, right. or Iran, like you've been torching Iran. Like, hey, bro, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> All in Christ. <laughs> like uh, you know, you don't even need to do this. Just go out and have a beer. Like it's you know, and and uh, and don't make a stand for Christ. Just do whatever the government tells you to do, and mm-hmm. it's all the same. Because <laughs> like it just, <laughs> it just it's, uh, it just it only works. <laughs> only works in a successful peak capitalism Western society yeah. with a government that allows you to do these things. Yeah. Well, as soon as that changes, uh, um, we'll find that this gospel, yes. which is no gospel, won't, won't, won't sustain you, won't sustain your heart or your nature mm-hmm. as a son of God. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because fear will enter. Mm-hmm. And, because, and fear, by fear, he'll capture the devil. And by fear, you'll act with your hand, which will bring death and uh only by knowing your great salvation, you're already raised and seated, and you, your nature is righteousness. And God is as happy to see you as, as He is to see Jesus. Yes. And in that time, if uh, a government comes in, which is similar to Iran or current China, mm-hmm. or uh, comes in control, or we have an economic collapse in the West, mm-hmm. uh, you want to know that you're raised and seated in heavenly places, but and you're also you're the image of God. Mm-hmm. So nothing changes for you. you. Just get up and love and image God. <laughs> and God is responsible to take care of your existence. Yeah. But uh, outside that new creation understanding, mm-hmm. that you've died with him and risen as him, have the same resurrection of life as he does. And as he is, so you're now on the earth. It's mm-hmm. the, the being that you are, son of God, mm-hmm. a new class of being, a, son, a literal son of God, yeah. uh, born again from above in the same way christ was born the word came you know the same way the world was created because his word was hovered over the waters and it formed in the same way uh, G- uh mary received jesus mm-hmm. be unto me according to your will mm-hmm. so she received the word mm-hmm. hovered over the holy spirit by the holy spirit hovered over her waters christ is formed and born into the earth mm-hmm. uh, and it's the same way you got saved Holy Spirit hovers over you, you receive a word, mm-hmm. and you, a new thing is born. Mm-hmm. The, the same incorruptible seed of, as Christ, the person of Christ, mm-hmm. is born again in you. It's no longer you live as Christ lives in you. Yes. You die with him, you rose as him, as he is, so you're now on the earth. You're the same class of being that Christ is, mm-hmm. and the seed will grow in, in, uh, into the full tree. So your seed the Son of God. So you'll grow into the fullness of the stature of Christ, yes. which is what the fivefold ministry were meant to be doing mm-hmm. all this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have to build the saint, the fullness of statue of Christ, mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to need that. So, yes. yeah, uh, and that is love. So, the full statue of Christ isn't a big ministry, no. you know. And um, so, the season's changing uh, roughly as a good rule of thumb, at least maybe completely accurate, but at least as a as a, a good frame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone's arguing with me; I'm not going to fight over it. But every two thousand years. Mm-hmm. The the nature of man's relationship with God changes quite dramatically, mm-hmm. and so in Eden, out of Eden, that's a dramatic change relationship mm-hmm. with God. And then two thousand years later, we have Abraham who received righteousness by faith mm-hmm. by believing a word. So that's good that he did that. <laughs> Thank you, Abraham. 
Thank you. Barbara of our faith. Yeah. And um, you might have frozen here, I hope, but we're on Riverside, so I think we're both being recorded, so it's going to be okay. So I'm, I'm going to keep talking. Oh, you're back. That's okay. Yes. And um, Father Abraham, and now uh, 2,000 years later. Yeah, 2,000 years later was uh, from John the Baptist to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that was a very big change. Went from mm -hmm. uh, a, a law uh, to righteousness by, by faith through the, the lamb slain, the lamb of God uh, for all men, so mm -hmm. even Gentiles. And now we're 2,000 years later again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's a frame for that. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine being the high priest, training to be the high priest for, you know, 30 AD? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you spent your whole life training, and you love God. Mm -hmm. Your families love God. You're brought up in the, in the ways. You've you've kept the law with a good heart. You've memorized the Torah. You've been charging it through the night. You've you know you've behaved. You've kept yourself from breaking the law, mm -hmm. and you've known all. You've gone all the way through. You know all the sacrifices, all the rites, all the methods, mm -hmm. and you're doing everything right so you can sacrifice a lamb for the atonement of uh, sins for a year for Israel because you care for Israel and you want the Messiah to come and you need to keep them as a nation for the Messiah. And then one day, this fisherman or carpenter <laughs> from from the Galilee gets killed by the Romans. Right. <laughs> Someone claims his back. Right. You walk into the temple with the curtains torn from top to bottom. Wow, yeah. Uh, uh, and... Uh, the temple system is over right. and the way that God now relates to earth is through knowing the person of Jesus Christ, not through knowing the law. Yeah. And so all your life, what you've studied for, mm -hmm. I think you had between 30 and 50 to be a high priest. Mm -hmm. uh, you've studied for your whole life mm -hmm. is over. Yeah. It has no currency in the next era. Yeah. How, the only currency between you and God, the God that you love and have served your whole life, is to know the person of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So you, with all your training and high standing, keep yourself clean, have to go out to the dirty fields and go find a fisherman who can't even read right. to tell you about Jesus because he has the currency, yes. and the currency is knowing the person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you've got no currency in that right. era. Wow. In fact, all the currency you have is going to be redefined <laughs> because you, you had it under a Levi or a Pharisaical uh, worldview. Mm -hmm. which wasn't accurate, to mm -hmm. say the least, and everything's going to be redefined. And everything you pr pride yourself in is now not just uh, useless, it's actually de a de uh, de de detraction from, yes. from, <laughs> from this. Yeah. And then some person that met Jesus yesterday is way ahead of you, and you've been doing it for 30 years. Wow. And they're already way ahead of you because they, they met him. <laughs> Wow. 15 minutes That's amazing. <laughs> and like that is and so if uh if your desire was to become the high priest mm -hmm. that's a tragedy yeah if your desire was the messiah would come mm -hmm. to israel for the whole world then it's fantastic yeah so here we are wow. <laughs> two thousand years, years later yep it's going to change mm -hmm. if your desire is to have a ministry and build a church and win a culture war. Yeah. You're going to be very disappointed. Yes. yes. If your desire is for the mature sons walk in the full stature of Christ in their lifetime, yes. Yes. you're going to be very happy. Yes. The trouble is, if you're a minister, and I include myself in this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we've been using this system, trying to get as best as we can. <laughs> right. And then the system's going to change, mm -hmm. and all our great learning, including my own, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All my books, <laughs> all, yes. all my great learning. It's like God's like, yeah, but you have to be love. Yeah. I'd be like, mm, where's my book on love? Yeah, you, right. <laughs> Catherine Toon is a book on love. I should have read it. <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll be uh, and God will say, no, you need to go find the person who's love. I go, who's love? Let's go find this person. Mm -hmm. And God will say, well, in developing nations, what you sent your books to to help them out. Mm -hmm. uh, there is <laughs> a lady there, mm -hmm. and when their country was invaded, they used rape as a as a measure of war, mm -hmm. one of the many things. And she had a child, and she kept the child. Mm -hmm. The child looks exactly like her rapist, who she can still see her face. Mm -hmm. And she has received that child, mm 
mm-hmm. and raised it and loved it mm-hmm. and forgiven and lay a life down that this child will walk in the full stature of Christ and love this child wow. and has taken on three other children whose parents were killed and lay their life down for these people. And uh, she hasn't read the Bible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, and what <laughs> mm-hmm. which is love because yeah. she gets up and raises this child that looks like the person the who destroyed her life or maybe mm-hmm. cut her up with a machete and and mm-hmm. damaged her and she has to walk with that damage every day and her face is mm-hmm. scarred because he cut up her face and she can't be no except in society and mm-hmm. she raised this kid wow and i'll be like mm, does she have a ministry uh what does she do has she led him to christ come say no but she's love yeah. so in the year to come she will have 10 cities yeah, because yeah. she prayed for those who persecuted her and blessed her enemy. It was good to run the good and evil. Mm. Like, right. Right. <laughs> because, with our, but I've been yeah. serving you, Lord, for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's love, you know, and, uh, and that love that, that he has, which she made a call on, she made a call on the nature of God to become that. Mm-hmm. Is it you? Is it me? Yeah. But, uh, through faith comes through hearing, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, I need that lady's testimony of her life to hear, you know, to uh, it's not about beating your political opponent. Um, and Thank in you saying, that, saying that during an election year, because <laughs> well, hey, I must say, look, please vote for the person who you believe mm-hmm. will uh, achieve righteousness on the earth or allow righteousness for your country. Mm-hmm. Like, please you have the best and you can even go out and, and canvas for that person mm-hmm. doesn't matter mm-hmm. but it's not your hope no no and it's not your idol Mm-mm. and it's not your victory Mm-mm. your victory is becoming love under any circumstance uh christians are were in early rome christians are in current china christians are in current iran christians are in current vietnam and burma and uh nigeria and mozambique where mm-hmm. there is mass slaughter mm-hmm. and torture mm-hmm. uh and other things mm-hmm. uh daily mm-hmm. yeah. yeah bob jones uh had a vision of heaven and uh he got he got there it was in three parts mm-hmm. outer court inner court holy of holies mm-hmm. whether that's an absolute structure or uh uh a picture god was using to explain things to him Mm-hmm. That that's okay. Yeah. The point is the message that Jesus was saying to him, mm-hmm. and he went to the outside, and the outside, the outer court is paradise. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's no death. There's only love. There's only life. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the kingdom. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. And Jesus takes him into the inner court. Inner court. Mm-hmm. Okay, the holies, not the holy holies, the holy area, the mm-hmm. inner court. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the people there were so glorious. Mm-hmm. He had to hide inside jesus to even look at them they like, oh. couldn't even look at their glory mm-hmm. which people came along and god says who's these people and these these are the people that served me the outside people were saved mm-hmm. and here were the people that served him and you know ministered on, on his behalf mm-hmm. and the person that was so glorious was a martyr someone who died okay and it's like it's like wow and then someone came along who was even more glorious like you, you couldn't even handle looking at this person he was mm-hmm. hiding inside jesus trying to look at him and God said, who's this? God said, that's also a martyr. That's a martyr who forgave the person who killed them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like even more glorious. And then, then they went into the Holy of Holies, the center, and he like begged to leave. And, he looked, and Jesus said, and these are my friends. <laughs> wow. Right? So that lady I told you about, who probably does exist, she's jesus's friend jesus you know <laughs> she knows him she is in the fellowship of his sufferings there's always in three sections to know him salvation the power that raised him from the dead mm-hmm. ministry and the fellowship of his sufferings mm-hmm. friend wow. Wow. Yeah. it doesn't mean you you have to suffer it means you you he might share some of his suffering with you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i have a friend in australia and she'll be taking the night to children who have been kidnapped wow. uh-huh. and she'll spend the night with them like mm-hmm. in the body or in the spirit i don't know wow. and she'll be with them and she'll talk to them 
-hmm. And she knows if she goes to them, that means they're not coming back. That's what it means. And does she, she can't tell the police, she Mm -hmm. can't locate them, but she just comforts them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And she will see their pa- picture in the paper next day, same clothing, same teddy bear, wow. whatever. Wow. And the whole point, if I could use it that way, mm-hmm. is Jesus is sharing his pain and, uh, of that situation yeah. with his friend. Yeah. Wow. And she suffers, so she feels it. Mm-hmm. Well, she's yeah. wiped, like, you know. Yeah. And then she has to see it on the paper the next day, the news next day. Right. Wow. And she was with that person, like, she knows that child. Mm-hmm. And, um, that's the, you know, so she, her life's great. Wow. <laughs> she's a great husband. She, <laughs> she eats organic food. She's doing well. Right, right. But that's the fellowship, you know, she's not being martyred, but gee whiz, does she wear it in her, in her body? And Jesus says, that's Jesus' friend. Jesus, I'll do that for me. You know, I'm a, I'm a preacher. I'm doing well. I've got my jacket. Life's good. <laughs> but that's fellowship of sufferings. Wow. Well, you live it. Mm-hmm. Like that lady, that hypothetical lady in the third world, which is probably true. Mm-hmm. Or like my friend who's, who's living it, you know, that's that's friendship. Wow. Wow. And if you will forgive your enemy, mm-hmm. if you will mourn with those who mourn, you know, and rejoice with those who rejoice, if you, mm-hmm. if you will bless those who curse you, if you become that person like Christ, mm-hmm. that's, uh, that's ruling and reigning, you know, that's, you know, better one day in the courts than a hundred days elsewhere. That's that one yeah. day in the courts. You'd rather be a streets. You'd rather sweep, be a sweeper right. in Olive Hollies and have 10 mansions yes. in the other courts, you know. And this is hard to accept, but it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they overcame the enemy by, was it? By the blood of the blood, Lamb. Blood of the Lamb, salvation, right. word of testimony, right. ministry, right. and mm-hmm. not loving the life under death. death. Friendship, which you were sonship. And wow. uh, it's, it's, you know, there's more I can say on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, there's so much in there. And this, this is maturity. I mean, that is love. It is maturity. It is love. Mm-hmm. It's it, not loving love. If, if you love your own life, you will not be able to love others. Love your own life is in the preservation of right. your own life and right. its standard and stuff like that. Right. You want to do what Christ is doing. And you have a choice. It's okay. Yeah. You are allowed to. Mm-hmm. Receive the, the great salvation Jesus has afforded you. Mm-hmm. Receive it mm-hmm. and then believe it and I'll see you in heaven. Right. That's the fold return. That's a good return. That's right. great. Right. Yeah. And then in that life, you you know, maybe you live a good life on this earth. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, honoring him, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, or a 60 fold return is ministry. You know, I am going to the word of my testimony or. Mm-hmm by um, the power that raised him from the dead, I'm going to minister mm-hmm. to people, mm-hmm. okay? And that's a 60-fold return. That's great. Wow. Well, yeah. Or there's a 100-fold return, which is not yeah. loving your life yeah. unto death or the fellowship of your sufferings. Yeah. And those people may not do any ministry <laughs> that we know. Yeah. Yeah. But they were a record of the nature of the Father on the earth. They were an imager mm-hmm. of the Father. Mm-hmm. That lady... In a third world country is an imager of God yes. in that situation. Yes. Wow. So she she did it. <laughs> yeah. And me and you know my ministry, whatever. Like God, make no mistake. All of those are all God's children, and God is delighted and loves them all. All the righteous of Christ. Mm-hmm. But God's saying, "Why your free will? This is what's available to you. Mm-hmm. Will yeah. you love me for who I am?" Will you become like me? Am I enough? Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, yeah. am I enough? That lady will never be known, but God is enough for her. Yeah. You know, am, am, am I enough? Mm-hmm. And that's to be it. And that person who God's enough can be a minister, you know, mm-hmm. and can be whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, that's love. And you can only become that by falling in love with the person of Christ. Absolutely. Because there's there's no no gifting gets you there. There's, there's no gift no. of love. <laughs> no. There's, there's no there's no gift of um <laughs> uh is in spiritual gift of sonship. <laughs> yes. There's only the, the state of, of of who you are responding to this great gospel mm-hmm. that we are sons of God. We are sons indeed, and you can mature in that. You can become uh, like Him, mm-hmm. and but you need. The gospel is the power of salvation. You need the gospel 
that you've died being a human, you've rise, and you are the righteousness of Christ. Mm-hmm. If you've got any separation in you, mm-hmm. you need to do something to get it, which is the Galatian deception, which is works, which is the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is the very thing that put Jesus on the cross in the first place. He doesn't want it. Everything got kicked out of Eden in the first place. It's not going to get you back in, okay? Right. Or if you don't you've got it, you'll do something to get it. Or you disqualify right. yourself. No, I won't, I won't do it. You know? Um, neither of those, knowledge of good and evil, mm-hmm. uh, uh, pride or condemnation, mm-hmm. uh, is, is going to get you there. It's the wrong page of the wrong book. It's not Christianity at all. It's got nothing to do with it. Right. It's, that's every other religion system in the world. Yeah. You're born again, raised and seated, uh, uh, every spiritual blessing, everything you need for life and godliness, uh, made perfect, mm-hmm. or pure, a righteous man being made perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. And you're going to be farther into that. Now, consider the cost before building a tower. Mm-hmm. You get to choose. Do I want to be 30, 60, 100? Yeah. And, uh, and your choice is your declaration of what you want from God or how good God is. Yeah. So it's a very serious choice. Very but in serious. saying that, it's not a ranking system. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're loved, child of God, yeah. forever. Which it's good. You're in. Like, yeah, it's not like I love my soul, but I hate my body. You know, right. my soul doesn't rank me. Eh? Everything's precious. 30, 60, 100, spirit, soul, body. It's all yes. it's all precious. It's all part of God and his kingdom. Okay. And if you come in judgment one or the other, then you're not following the spirit because God's not. <laughs> you know, right. he loved and died for them all. And uh, so, um, but consider the cost before building a tower. And we, we live in the 30, 60 area, 30, 30, 30, 60 area in our Christianity, mm-hmm. out of court, in the court. Mm-hmm. Are you uh, going to be a Christian? You're going into ministry. <laughs> like yeah. that's the this dichotomy that we've invented. Right. Yes. But it's, 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 that is not the that's another frame we've made up. Like, and oh, into ministry, that's very impressive. You know, you're not 30, now you're 60, or you've got a gifting, you're using your gifting for God. Like, that's wow, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. But there is the hundredfold, and the hundredfold is, is through the curtain. Yeah, you know, out of court, in a court, it's through the curtain. Mm-hmm. It's to reckon yourself dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, salvation is from Egypt to the Red Sea, mm-hmm. water baptism, into the the desert. Mm-hmm. And you're a desert. You're a, you you're immature, mm-hmm. like you're, isn't it? you're a baby. Not not an insult. Like you just right. haven't learned the things of, of the new way yet. Sure. And so if you can complain, you get more water you complain you get more food and the enemies come you get protected and the other enemies they all get destroyed someone you don't know looks a bit like you maybe royal maybe you came in did a little work for you <laughs> cleared away put it back mm-hmm. okay and but then that's 30 fold mm-hmm. in the desert where most of the churches and then 60 fold they went and got the law so they can mature mm-hmm. we get the spirit so we can mature mm-hmm. and the laws written in their hearts Mm-hmm. And then we participate in that, and and that's that's a maturing process, and that's sixty fold, yeah. and that's the charismatic Pentecostal church mm-hmm. uh, as a as a frame. Mm-hmm. They they work with the Holy Spirit, you know, mm-hmm. um, you know. There's lots of Catholics who are mystics and yeah. et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, just just as a as a rough frame up. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then God says, "You can go take this land," and we all, when we read that. Was like I'd be Joshua, yeah. <laughs> I would I would be Caleb. I'd say yeah. we can take that lamb. Yes. And we're like, no way, because they've been they've been slaves and they didn't want to take response. They couldn't believe God would do that for them. Mm. And they said, we are small. And God said, no, no. I said you could. You said I couldn't. Mm-hmm. That was your word. You you're talking about me, not about you. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're making a judgment about me because I said you could, mm-hmm. and you're making a statement that I don't follow my word, and I am word. You yeah, know, right. you, you're, you know, I am truth. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, you're lying. Speak, we don't the believe. very inherent quality of me as a being is mm-hmm. what you're talking about now. Mm-hmm. Right. I've got to reveal my faithfulness to you and give you my word. And they, they reject it. And around they go. That's the church as a whole. Mm-hmm. Many individuals throughout history have definitely gone through. Mm-hmm. And uh, but it's been offered to us on mass because the third day from Christ, mm-hmm. the day's a thousand years, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. And it's the it's the seventh day from um, Adam, Creation, which is yeah. going to rest or the risen Christ, the mature mm-hmm. Son. And it's been offered to us, mm-hmm. but um, we must choose it. And in choosing it, we're choosing God's word that He would 
do it for us. We can stay in the desert and you're out of Egypt. You're no longer a slave, right. you know, with the law, without the law, with the spirit, without the spirit, it's okay. But to go through the Jordan, mm -hmm. they had to choose it themselves. No one came along and did it for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the priests had to get up, get dressed. Everyone was to prepare themselves, the whole nation. Everyone had to go through. Mm -hmm. It was full flood, so against all knowledge. Right. Now walk with the ark into the water, yes. <laughs> which was yeah. very, uh, <laughs> I don't love you thinking that time. <laughs> and then the water backed up all the way to a town called Adam. Right. From yeah. the Dead Sea, from, from death, the Dead Sea, it backed up, there's no mistakes, right. all the way to a town called Adam, yeah. which means you reckon yourself dead and death, you deal with death and death and Adam is back all the way to Adam. You're not human anymore. You're a son of God. Right. Wow. And you go through. And then you take the promised land bit by bit because it won't otherwise will overtake you. And you yeah. do it by following God and by not making deals with the locals yeah. and compromising. And uh, it's a way you've never gone before. So God's going to teach you because right. you're always a novice in the new, like mm -hmm. you're an expert in the old, a novice in the new. So right. if I was a great Christian, but I stepped into ministry and that was day one. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Okay. Now I'm a great minister. But I'm stepping to love. Well, I don't know what to do. What is this love? Right. <laughs> what is this place? And bit by bit, God's going to walk you into it. He's going to father you into it. Yeah. And to take the land is to take the, the giants, the bad DNA. And that's the record in you. And that's none of God. It's our old, it's Adam's behavior set. It's other beings' <laughs> behavior set. Yeah. And their voice and language and sound inside you, their record, yeah. you know, their DNA. And you can take that land. Yeah. And becoming forgiving, you know, I have a friend that went through a, a, a horrible divorce and many lies were spread about him and wow. uh, destroy him personally and destroy his business and his reputation, mm -hmm. put pressure on him and uh, money was hidden and all sorts of crazy things happened. Right. And so you can be very bitter about that. Sure. And uh, he uh, has decided that he wants to intercede and uh, that, that. his, his ex-wife will walk wow. in the full stature of Christ in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And he practices wow. by looking at, at a photo of her. Wow. <laughs> wow. Not, not, not like not, not, not unhealthy longer. Like, he's like, how's my right. heart respond? Right. He hasn't seen it because when he sees her again in real life, he wants to go, oh, that's the person I've been praying for, interceding for, you know. Yeah. And he wants, that's what he wants. For, wow. I mean, he's learning, but, he, you know, Bit by bit, he's taking that that's land, right. and it is bit by bit. Right? The, the point is, he's changing this. That's that nature's really inside him because that's what Jesus wants for this person. Right. Jesus wants this person to succeed. Mm -hmm. Jesus wants this person to be blessed. That's what Jesus wants. Yeah. yeah. So he's changing by a free will decision by cooperating with the Father because it's a miracle. You it can't is. make yourself do it. You can't make yourself do it from your heart. You can make no. yourself do it, but you can't do it from your no. heart. The miracle is that he's agreeing with the nature that's inside him who really wants to do that, becoming like his father. So this weapon used against him is now going to be for his salvation. You know, it's, uh, he's turning everything to good. Wow. And uh, it, it, it's amazing. Wow. And uh, what was meant for his destruction is going to be for the salvation of many. And, uh, and even for the person who perpetrated against him. Yeah. It's going to be for their salvation. The devil's going to lose on both sides. You know, yeah, that's that's making all things work together for good, right? It is, that's yeah. And that's the power. Mm -hmm. That's that's Jesus' blood crying a better word than, than Abel's. Yes, wow. Because Jesus is an overpayment for the victim and the persecutor yes. and the prosecutor. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, beautiful. and you have to understand that the first person to understand that, you know, is free, and, and it's it's hard when you're the you're the victim. Oh, you know. Because yeah. someone may have damaged me greatly and they find their forgiveness in Christ and they're off. Yeah. <laughs> they're clean. Yeah. God says they're clean. They're clean. Right. They're sorry for what they've done. They've apologized. Right. And maybe they can restitute them. Maybe, maybe they, they can't. haven't, right? And maybe they haven't. Right. But they're off. They're clean. Right. And I'm still. Right. And but you're all, still. What? Right. Now, I just need for the blood of Christ mm -hmm. to reconcile my situation. Because it overpays him. Mm -hmm. It overpays me. And this thing that was has damaged me will be for the salvation of many. Exactly. If I let the blood of Christ in. Exactly. And upon the prosecutor, like if I was a person who 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 did the terrible act, mm -hmm. I was gonna let the blood of Christ in mm -hmm. 
be an overpayment for that. And then if a person doesn't forgive me, mm-hmm. well, I mean, and that's between them and Christ at the end of the day. Right. Exactly. You know, David said, David, after knowing God and all the miracles, signs and wonders and all the great things, he uh, took someone's wife, <laughs> mm-hmm. didn't care. Mm-hmm. Right. Got them pregnant. Oh, no, he does care. Right. <laughs> what am I going to do? Get that guy killed. Get right. him killed. Mm-hmm. And some other soldiers killed too. So those families mm-hmm. lost their people in their inheritance. Right. And then doesn't care. And then Nathan, was it Nathan? Okay. Nathan comes Nathan, to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And says, you're the guy. And now he cares. <laughs> So, I mean, that's what he had conscious. He did not care. Right. <laughs> and maybe he right. did, but it didn't really bother him that much. He didn't rip right. his clothes, you know. Right. And then he comes clean. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then he says to God, you yeah, know, I've sinned against you alone. Mm-hmm. So if you forgive me, mm-hmm. I'm forgiven. Yeah. And if you say I'm clean, then I'm clean. Clean. Yeah. Now that is offensive. And that he is, knew that. Because if what God about. Clean, right. I forgive you. Yeah. Okay. I'm clean before God. He says, now I'm going to go rebuke the sinners because he's clean. Right. He's just damaged all these families, right. his reputation, damaged mm-hmm. Israel, damaged the army. Right. Brought many earthly ramifications because earthly ramifications for sin. You forgive mm-hmm. this is between you and God. Right. But there's consequences. And the Absolutely. consequences are through his family mm-hmm. uh, forever, you know. And um, But he was clean. Mm-hmm. There's no condemnation for his sin. Yeah. The child that came through that died. He was praying for that child, mm-hmm. interceding for that child. As soon as the child died, mm-hmm. he was like, oh, well, that thing's over. Good to go. Now I can. He got up, wash his face. Right, wash his face, like, hey, have a meal. Yeah, aren't you grieving for this or shouldn't you be yeah. sorry for your sin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't right. you be sad and longer? He goes, wow, I'm forgiven. There's right. actually nothing le- left on this earth from that situation now. Like, it's gone. Mm-hmm. I wanted to live. It didn't live. Okay. Well, and then, not only that, he goes back to the place of the crime of his greatest shame, which is Bathsheba, mm-hmm. and has Solomon, right. the greatest thing to come out, out, of, out of his life, mm-hmm. and yeah. the king. So that's a clear conscience mm-hmm. Yeah, to go back. Yeah. There, rather, rather than like, get rid of her, don't let me never, right. don't exactly. let me see next to me, everyone knows the story, right. banish her. You know, send her out to some other country or, you know, lose her somewhere, you know, like right. all the things he could have said. Right. And he forgave. Yeah. And he knew, but he, he was forgiven. So yeah. the first one to know they're forgiven lives in that life and that victory. Mm-hmm. How about Uriah's family? Right. Yeah. Yeah. How about Bathsheba's family? Mm-hmm. Because when Absalom comes and takes the kingdom, uh, Bathsheba's grandfather slides with Absalom. Mm. Yeah, he's not happy. Right. He no. sides with Absalom to get rid of David. Yeah. So he loses. Right. But he's right. Because mm-hmm. wow. <laughs> David did the wrong thing, but Thank David's you. cleared himself with God. God said, hey, if, if God takes the kingdom from me, he takes it. If he gives it to me, he gives it to me. I'm not going to use my arm of flesh, you know. Right. Wow. And because uh, and he receives God's nature. He made a call on God's nature first. Mm-hmm. And the first person, make a call, first person to truly make a call on God's nature is, is free. Yeah. And that's hard when there's two parties involved or yeah, ten parties involved. Is. But when you understand this, if you understand the free gift, that's what you give away. Mm-hmm. If you live by a code, or even the Christian code, yeah. that's what you give away. And you're frustrated with people when they don't do it because you you're maintaining it. It makes you very angry. Right, exactly. But it's also your answer for things. They're suffering. Well, go by the code, bro. And your life will get better. Mm-hmm. But you make him like twice the sons of hell you are. Yeah. That's what, really what you're doing. Very, you give him no gospel at all. Right. But if you know of your great salvation, that you were forgiven, you're making a call on God. If God says, I'm clean, yeah. I'm clean. Not only I'm clean, I'm clean forever because I've received the person of Jesus Christ who is now my identity before God, my reality before God, my truth before God. Yes. And that's my great salvation, you know? And that's what you give away. Mm-hmm. So if you're on your you know, your second marriage has just collapsed and you're onto your, and you're wanting to get married again, you know, and you, you, you had your bro to play and all those things. Like why would God, when there's people who've never been married and you know, honor God their whole life, why would God get you a new spouse? Well, mm-hmm. because you repented because, no, no, because of Jesus, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of Jesus, that's your righteousness before God. 
Yeah. If you yeah. take your, your bibs and bobs before God to say, this is what I deserve, well, he can give you, reward you, according to those bibs and bobs, but you don't want that spouse. Right. You know, right. you want, because of Christ. Yeah. You know, if you've blown all your money or, and are uh, you now, you know, $65,000 of credit card debt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, and because your own immaturity and, and rebellion and stuff. Right. And you're a Christian. Yeah. yeah. Why would God get you out of debt? Oh, because you've repented, because of, you know, you're going to start tithing. No, because of Jesus. Exactly. That's why he'll get you out of debt. Yes, exactly. Why? Because of Jesus. Why would God let you give you money for your missionary trip? Well, I did it. No, no, no. Because of Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's why. From that place that God will give it to you because of, because of his nature, mm-hmm. he will need to father you into some things. Yep. I'll get you out of $65,000 debt because of me. Yeah. We need to work on something. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a new marriage. Give me your third marriage. Yes. But I need to, from that rest that God's going to give it to you, you don't have to earn it. If God's not going to give it to you, you need to crumble away. You try and attain it by your arm of flesh. Right. Okay, that's bad, bad. But if you know Christ will give it to you in Christ, from that rest, mm-hmm. it can begin to change you to become the yeah. person that can be out of debt, that can yeah. be married again that can represent him on a, on a yeah. missionary trip it's beautiful. or whatever. It's because of Christ. The first person to receive what Christ has done. And receive what Christ has done. If God says you're clean, that you're clean, because the mm-hmm. gospel is a power of salvation, that you are clean, that Christ mm-hmm. is your righteousness. You're as righteous as Christ is. Before you get out of bed in the morning, mm-hmm. all your work is done. You yeah. wake up righteous. Yeah. And there's nothing yeah. you have to do to achieve it. You do a yeah. prayer meeting or don't, home group or not, mm-hmm. Bible study or not. Right. You are that righteousness. Mm-hmm. Doing those things may allow you to participate more in those. It brings you mm-hmm. transforming of your mind. But you are that righteousness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And from that rest, that great salvation, mm-hmm. uh, and that everything you have, the word is produced like, because of Christ and his goodness. From that place, you, have, you, are, you can love. Yeah, it's beautiful. But if you don't know you've got that, mm-hmm. you have to keep a code to be good before God. To it's achieve exhausting. It. Yeah. And then that's what you give other people, which is not love, mm-hmm. or you shy away. Yeah. And you can't love other people. That's not love. Yeah. You can only be by receiving the, the free gift of yes. the person of Jesus Christ. That's the good news. You can receive the person Jesus. of Jesus Christ in your heart, which makes you literally a son of God, yes. which is a class of being. As a son of God, you can be God's princess. You can be God's bride, little dancer. Like that. There's not, it's not a gender thing. Is a class of being, and uh, and but a son of God is a class of being that you are. Yes. Better than the other, being like other other sons of God, because you after Christ, who was of God, mm-hmm. uniquely begotten of God, mm-hmm. not like the other angels who call themselves sons of God. Mm-hmm. They're created. Yeah. Okay. But you are of God. They yes. their structure doesn't can't receive Yahweh. Right. Ours can. Yeah. Okay. That's why My human. Goal. Yes battle for human DNA is on because mm-hmm. <laughs> this thing can house Yahweh not just house become one mm-hmm. yes. oh yeah oh can house because that spirit mm-hmm. is if any man be in Christ be born of Christ is one spirit with the Lord one spirit yeah, that's one what spirit we are so we can image God the noun end verb we image him like that lady in the third world country who looks after that kid is imaging God. Yes, <laughs> that is what God is doing. She's being the person of God in that situation. Mm-hmm. Wow. And uh, yeah, so that's love <laughs> to lay your life down for, for the wicked before they've even. Right. And that's what you decide to do. And that's considered the cost before building a tower. You don't have to. <laughs> right. If you choose to know that going through that curtain is going through the Jordan. Reckoning yourself dead. Yeah. Yes. It is. Yes. Um, it is choosing uh, the fellowship of his sufferings. It is not loving your life unto death. Yes. It is praying for those who persecute you. Yes. And if you choose that, and you have chosen that, mm-hmm. then uh, it's not like oh, well, God will give you circumstances, you know, to test you or bring it around. That's old thinking. It's like no, this is happening on the earth, and God's doing it, and He's going to let you participate in it. Exactly. <laughs> this is what you chose. Yeah. Okay, here's, here's the time to image God. Here's somebody who's persecuting you or your church or your friend. is unjust. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. And that's what forgiveness is. It's yeah. to take that. You feel it. You take it into your body. It's something Christ took into their body. Mm-hmm. It's not like you don't feel it. 
It's like, oh, oh no. I'm like Christ, I'm love. Oh, people persecute me. No problem. Like, no, no. no. no it's like, <laughs> ow. Yeah. You, you take it into the body. Yes. You, you, and, and, and then you, you then you heal it. You, you remove it from the land. You remove that record from in you and in them. Mm-hmm. You plead on behalf of the guilty. Forgive the Lord. They know what they do. Mm-hmm. And because uh, that's what Jesus is doing. And you look like him. You know, if you say, you, it's like, wow. If you're, if you're praying on earth for justice, you're praying on earth for a certain outcome, there are good things and petitions that go before God. Mm-hmm. But you're praying on earth. You can't fake it if you're from, from your heart. <laughs> Which is why it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah, yeah, it's, it a, it's a nature given to you. you mm-hmm. You're just responding and becoming that nature. If you plead in your heart on behalf of the guilty, like someone who has mm-hmm. hurt you and you feel it and you're hurt because Christ is in you. Christ lived that hurt. Okay. Yeah. He felt it. Like he, exactly. no mystery to him. Like, Explain this to me. Like he, he was there when it happened. He, you're one yeah. script with him. He you felt the betrayal or whatever yeah. 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 and the lie and that. And he's like, uh, uh, and you're crying out for forgiveness for that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a petition. God's like, that sounds like me. Wow. wow. So you're a son. You sound like him. Yeah. Forgiveness for your abuser. You're, 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 you're becoming like Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds like me. Yeah. Yeah. And may I say this, it's not saying that the crime is, didn't exist. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. It's having a greater value for yourself. The more you value yourself, the greater the crime is. Yes. Yes. Like it actually is a crime mm-hmm. uh, and you have to know it's a crime. Mm-hmm. It's like saying, uh, you know, that wasn't really sexual assault yeah. if it was. So it doesn't really yeah. matter. You haven't forgiven it. No, you're not you saying it wasn't, it wasn't heinous. You're saying in the, in the midst of heinous, yeah, you forgive. Yeah. When you actually know your value, the crime is actually greater than you could possibly imagine. So it's actually worse than you think Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. in some ways. And because of your incredible value. Right. And that's what has been crossed. And so that's what you're forgiving. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is participate in the nature of the father. And if you like that, you can have your stuff. (laughs) But we're not like that. We don't have your stuff. (laughs) So, (laughs) so yeah, that's, that's love. And that is your, so it's a rest because you already have that. Yeah. And if you want to go that way, Mm -hmm. then you ask for it. Say, yeah. so, Father, consider the cost for building a tower. I am choosing right. to go through the Jordan. I'm going to reckon myself dead. Not a human anymore. I'm a son of God. Yeah. The son of God blesses his enemies. Then you'll be like your father in heaven. He says, reign the good and evil. And I'm yeah. choosing to go through the Jordan. There's things out there I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. I want you to father me into it. And I'm yeah. choosing it. And then, yeah. uh, and then God can father you into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, the, and, and, and the beauty of it, not that there's not pain, there's exquisite pain, but in it, we're doing this from the place of being a son of God and, and we're manifesting who, who God made us to be. And it, I mean, it's beautiful. And it's the fellowship of his suffering. Who are we fellowshipping with? We're fellowshipping with the one who, who is, did all the suffering, right? But we're suffering with him. And that's beautiful. Yeah. Manifesting. He would never give you more than, than you can bear. You know, yeah. and uh, he's just sharing him. Mm-hmm. Things don't have to happen for a reason anymore, mm-hmm. uh, except, you know, if you're betrayed by your closest friend, mm-hmm. you know, one of your close friends, it's not like, you know, it's a mystery why these things happen on earth. That's yeah. like 30 fold. Yeah. 30 fold is like, well, you can overcome it and have a ministry mm-hmm. in teaching people to forgive. <laughs> like, now you make it useful. Mm-hmm. Both are good. And then, but a hundredfold is, so, wow, that's how Jesus must have felt. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I understand more. You know, it doesn't have to be suffering. It can be other things too. It can be well, like great things, glory, right? visitations, angels, whatever. But it's so you can know uh, Jesus more. Yeah. yeah. And and in that, we and need to And you can't bypass, I mean, knowing Jesus more, you can't bypass the suffering piece. I'm not saying it's no. all only suffering, but yeah. we can't bypass yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's suffering uh, for the sake of the gospel or your new nature, yeah. okay? So it's not self-inflicted no. suffering. Not, not, not because we are the consequences of crappy yeah. decisions. It, it, it's not, and it's not suffering for bad theology. It's not suffering yeah. for your pride. It's not suffering for <laughs> these things, which we all suffer for. It, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, we are in, in, 
in all good faith, we're talking about the suffering that you're led into by the Holy Spirit or your father into, uh, or you know, something happens, but, um, or, uh, yeah, is, is that suffering that in, in your walk with the father yeah. that trouble will come and persecution will come or events do happen, yeah. or God may ask you to, he may reveal his heart to you for creation or reveal your heart for China or reveal your heart for the lost or reveal your heart for an individual person. You're like, Oh, you're burdened for right. this person. Yeah. You know, that's part of the lion, ox, eagle, man. It's the ox. It's the, it's the, it's the burden and the, and the moaning and the mm -hmm. grieving for creation or for the lost or, mm -hmm. you know, so maybe you're in the bed. Yeah. yeah. Wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. We love Amazing. eagle. And we love lion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't love oxen man. Yes, we get it. Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, we're called to love it all. Well, that's wow, that is some powerful chew on it stuff. Uh that's yeah. amazing. It, yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's good. And yeah. we just walk into it like we're crossing the Jordan, you know. Yeah. But he will do it. I believe his word. We like Father, I mean if you pray this, like Father. I want to become a mature son. I walk yeah. in the force of stature of Christ in my lifetime. And that means yeah. I want to be loved like your love. Yes. And uh, if that's your prayer, yeah. then God will father you into it. Yeah. And it may not look like anything. And it won't look like a, a powerful ministry as such. It may, but not necessarily. You know? Right, exactly. It may confused. Look, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does make you rich. It may be super rich or super poor. Right. You might be super famous or unknown. Right. You know, you may uh, have a, a short life or a very, 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 very long life. Yes. <laughs> Longer than yes. most humans. <laughs> yes. it, uh, every child must go the way that they should go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, so uh, when Jesus restores um, Peter, mm -hmm. You know, you're saying, you know, do you love me? Yeah, I love you. Yeah, feed my sheep. Yeah. He says that. And so, and he says, will you like, he's making a deal with Peter. You know, will you feed my sheep? Will you look after my flock? Yeah. And Peter's like, yes. Okay. That's Jesus' deal with Peter. No one else's deal. Right. Okay. No one else is called to do that. <laughs> right. And Peter's called to do that. After he says yes, Jesus says, right. And guess what? You're going to be martyred. Right. Someone's going to bind your hands you're going to go where you don't want to go right you know right. so peter knows ah i've just said yes to something and this is my deal with god yes i'm going to be martyred yes and then so what's peter say what about john oh, that's amazing <laughs> first, thing says, first, <laughs> first response what about john yes exactly what about him and jesus what's that to you yeah exactly this is our deal. what's that to you if he lives forever yeah maybe he's gonna live forever because that's in in, in connection to his mother you're gonna yes, be mother yes maybe john will be mother maybe john lives forever maybe john sees the kingdom yeah like this is our deal and that's what you're making with god that's what stephen did he made a deal with god and then he made another deal with god wow. <laughs> like, it, was, it was stephen's free gift free will he didn't have to no of course he not. said no and it would, would have stephen right. right we would have had the gospel of stephen yeah. And, we'll, and, we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll never know. Yes, yes. I guess maybe when we get on the other side, but yeah. Wow, that is fascinating. So, Chris, where can people find you for more of this and sit under this? What's, how can they find Well, you? I have uh, – my ministry is called As He Is Ministries. So if you type As He Is, mm -hmm. Chris Blackaby, into YouTube, mm -hmm. all my stuff's on there. Mm -hmm. like, I, only, I only really preach the gospel, so everything I do is, is free of charge. So, you know. If I was, you know, other people with their mentoring other things, I understand why they mm -hmm. they have things structured the way they do. Mm -hmm. It's a wisdom between that's their call between them, them and God. Yeah. But uh so all all my stuff is free. Um it's on YouTube. I think we'll uh sums it on podcast, we'll get that up set up properly again. Uh and we'll we'll do some backups to YouTubers too, just in case later on. And um and also I'm speaking this year. A guy called Tommy Miller, and who that's a real gift. He's a friend and he's also yes. amazing. Um, oh, you interviewed Tommy, so um, uh, we're gonna probably do four conferences this year. Nice. And so, on my website, as he is ministries.org, mm -hmm. long you type it once and then, and then, and then you never have to type it again. There you go. As he is ministries.org, we'll, we'll put it in there, they can click on it. 
Oh yeah, thank like, you, thank hard. you. Um, <laughs> we've got an events page starting up, and nice. so we've got one coming up in Oklahoma uh, at the end of boy March, April, mm-hmm. and then uh, like seventeenth, eighteenth of May, we have one in Franklin, Tennessee. Nice. And then later in the year, I think August, we'll have one in just south of Seattle. Nice. And then, uh, and then in late September, we'll have one in Ohio at Tommy's Church. Nice. And we might, and I might be doing little, little things in between. I'm still working it all out. <laughs> so, so working all out and believing for the Hawaii connection, which will be great. I'm voting for oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just for the fun of it, just for the joy of it and yeah, for, yeah. to bless Hawaii. But that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Well, it is. Oh, my goodness. It's such a joy. I could just sit and munch away at all the stuff that you're uh, that you just have such a revelation on and so much maturity. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been thank, a, thank you, Catherine. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I missed you when I was in town. Yeah, oh, was that was my, that was on me. You didn't do anything. That was on me. But anyway, sometimes stuff happens. So yeah, there'll be another time. I'm there will be. glad for that. Definitely. <laughs> Love that. All right. All right. Thank you well, very much. Well, you are so welcome. Everyone share this. People need to hear this. We need to grow in our maturity of love. So wonderful. Well, thank you so much again, Chris. And I hope I can have you back on another time. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, wonderful. All right. Well, everybody have a wonderful day. Make sure you share this. Love you guys. And thank you, Chris. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Perspectives with Catherine Toon. For additional information and resources, please visit catherinetoon.com.